Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. So today's Monday and it's the first day I'm back at work, kind of. <laughs> so I am working, but today I'm going to be working from home instead of working in the office. Um, just kind of get back into the whole kind of working thing. I had like two weeks or so off work because of the COVID. Um, and I still am feeling a bit groggy, so it's kind of like I need to start working again, but I'll work from home today. And if I feel a bit brighter today, tomorrow I'll, you know, go back into the office to work there. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of get on with it, do my thing. Um, at some point today, I do want to go out even if it's just to like, I don't know, a shop or something, or just for a little walk, I do need to get some fresh air, um, I didn't go out yesterday at all, um, and I do like to kind of push myself out every day, but yesterday I was just so drained and so tired, and I just, yeah, I just wanted to be lazy and stay in, basically, um, but today I'm going to force myself out, um, as I say, even if it's just to like a couple of shops or whatever nearby, I don't know, but I do want to get out at some point, um, I want to do some reading today as well because my book is really good and I'm nearly finished it. Let me show you. So yeah, this is the book I'm currently reading, The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. It's a kind of paranormal thriller. Um, she wrote the book The Sundown Motel, which I absolutely loved. This isn't as good as that, I've got to be honest, but it is still really good and it's very creepy and there's lots of like twists and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it and I'm nearly finished it as you can see. So I want to get that done today hoping to see the squirrels today to uh feed them i love seeing the squirrels honestly honestly it's so adorable just watching the little squirrels like i throw out the nuts and they chase them and they run off of them and oh, i just think it's so cute so i hope to see the squirrels today didn't really see them much over the weekend i saw them a little bit yesterday but not for long so yeah hopefully i get to see the squirrels it's kind of like they've become my pets obviously i've got wilma my gorgeous goldfish but the squirrels are my pets as well my outdoor outdoory pets <laughs> um but yeah so nathan's still not feeling great either um he has had negative tests now so yay we are both negative which is good um but he's still just really really tired honestly this covid thing leaves you well maybe not everyone but it leaves us completely exhausted and drained like so tired um so he's got the day off work today he's upstairs in bed so he's just going to be like sleeping he's got his anime to watch and stuff um whilst I'll be working down here so it's all good um anything else I can't think of anything else oh yeah when we're both like feeling a lot better and a lot more kind of with it we're gonna literally do out our bedroom this week give it a good old clean out um change all the sheets make sure it's all nice and clean and tidy in there and um open the window really wide let all that fresh air in and stuff just give it a good old clean and air in basically get rid of all the germies um we have got an air purifier thing in our room so we'll be putting that on this week as well but yeah really pleased that nathan's finally got his negative test as well he was a few days behind me um so yeah i got, I got the negative test for him but yeah he's now testing negative so we're both negative we're very lucky that my mum didn't catch it um I'm not going to go into details, but mum is quite unwell at the moment with different bits and pieces. Um, but as I say, I'm not going to talk about it simply because it's kind of like respect to her because she doesn't want me discussing her, her health and stuff. Um, but yeah, so not good at the moment, but we're going to get through it and, you know, we're all here to like support her and stuff. So it is what it is. But yeah, she's managed to go to work, which is good, and, you know, she's been out shopping on the weekend a bit here and there and stuff, and she, as I say, she's gone to work this morning, so, you know, she's a fighter, my mum, she's a fighter. Um, anyways, right, so I am gonna, I think, before I actually start working, I've got my laptop on here, um, actually, I need to sign in, that'd probably help, I need to sign into the program that I use, um, then I'm gonna go and do myself a coffee to try and wake myself up, because I am, I'm quite tired still, um, it's all I seem to be saying lately. I'm so tired. But anyway, um, but yeah, I'm going to go and make myself a coffee and then I'm just going to crack on with the work. The kettle is on. I'm going to have one of the Nescafe Gold Lattes. There's my little mug, my owl from Harry Potter. Harry Potter? A 
couple of sweeteners in. Sweet and low. Tumble dryer is on, doing its thing. Just come outside quickly, just to see if I can see any squirrels. <laughs> I'm so really desperate, any squirrels? It's a bit too early for them. Squirrels, they're probably in that tree over there. That's where they live, I think, in that big tree. Oh well, in we go. I've got to have my tablets as well. This is my allergy pill, my Benadryl. And these two I take for my thyroid. Okay, let's pour this water in here. And give it a good stir. I have been called a stirrer in my time. <laughs> With these sachets though, you really do need to um, give them a good mix. Otherwise you get like the lumpy bits of the, um, like the powder. I'm going to let it cool down a bit though. Normally I have it nice and hot, but I've got annoying, painful ulcers in my mouth. So it's not good to have too hot stuff um, so I'll let this cool down a little bit I won't have it cold but I'll have it like more lukewarm literally I'm stirring this for like an hour <laughs> no it's not an hour but honestly you do need to keep stirring it though because otherwise you just get the little bits and normally what I do is raise the spoon um, just to see there's no like lumps of coffee on there but it looks Looks quite smooth, doesn't it? So, looks right. I'm gonna take a little break from work just to have some breakfast because I am hungry. Um, so I'm just gonna make myself some scrambled eggs with tomato and a little bit of cheese. Got eggs. Ooh. There we go, there's one. And there's two. Right, I'm going to put some milk in and some salt and pepper. Well, actually, there's no pepper in there. I have to use this pepper. I'll leave that out, actually. Um, okay, I need a fork. Tomato, we say tomato, isn't it? That song. Anyway, um, right, so I'm just gonna out cut the tomato. This one has gone a little bit squishy, but it'll do. It's okay. I'll just break bits of the tomato up and put it in the bowl. Oh. Oh, okay, right, in that goes. And I have some cheese as well. And a grater. Okay, so I've got some toast, brown bread. Give this a nice little mix. There you go, all done. And steaming, steaming hot. This is my drink. Dr. Witt Metabolism 
multivitamin drinks, got B12, B6, C, E, etc. Um, apples, lime, grapes, kiwi. So yeah, I'm trying to have more like vitamin E drinks. Okay, so I finished working for the day, which is good. I did okay. It was a bit weird. Um, there was times where I actually forgot my password and things I was supposed to be doing. I was like, ooh, but it'll come back to me. It's all good. Um, so now the plan is I have to empty the dishwasher. I didn't even know the dishwasher needed emptying, but I went to bring my plate out of my cup, went to put it in the dishwasher, and it was filled up. And I was like, no. So now I'm going to have to empty the dishwasher, which I find one of the most boring chores ever, but it's got to be done. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go upstairs, have a shower and get ready and then just head out, really. Um, corner shop I'm going to go and maybe a little charity shop as well. So, yeah. I just wanted to tell you quickly that whilst I empty the dishwasher, I'm going to be listening to some Eurovision songs. Eurovision for this year. I'm so excited for the Eurovision. Um, I've already got my favourite songs that I really, really love. Um, I might do a video of that sometime soon of like, you know, talking about the songs that I predict are going to do well. And the songs that I hope are going to do well, maybe, if you're into your vision. Um, yeah, let me know if you like a video like that. But, um, yeah, we've got some good songs this year. We really have. But my favourite so far would have to be the UK, Sam Ryder, Spaceman. Come on, Sam, you can do it. Um, to be fair, even if he doesn't win, which he, he probably won't, if he comes in the top five, I'll be really happy with that. Bearing in mind, last year we got, like, zero points. Uh, which was really cruel, actually, because, all right, the song wasn't that great, but it wasn't that bad, and it's like... Mm. But anyway, I really hope we'll do, do well this year. But um, yeah, I should do a video about the Eurovision soon, maybe in the next week or so. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do this for sure and listen to some Eurovision songs. Okay, so I'm out and about. Had a nice shower, feel nice and refreshed and clean, which is good, obviously. It's very hot and very sunny out today. I wish I wouldn't have worn this, my sweatshirt, because it's just too... It's too hot for this. Looks like I'm going to have to start wearing my t-shirts again soon, I think. You know, in short sleeve tops and stuff. Because it's going to be hot. It's nice to be out and about, though. Getting a bit of exercise, getting a bit of fresh air. Getting vitamin D in the sun. And, uh, yeah, I'm just heading to charity shop first. And then I am going to go to... It's a really loud car, sorry. <laughs> And then I'm going to go to the little corner shop. Nathan wants some drinks. I want some drinks. I'll just have a little look around. But, uh, yeah. I'm just putting my mask on. I know you haven't got to wear masks anymore officially, but I still do. There we go. Okay, so I'm at Shared Space Charity Shop. Over there is the uh, Palace Theatre, very old theatre and very haunted and I know that because I used to work there when I was younger.
Wilma. Wilma. Are you a video star? <laughs> You're more of a star than I'm ever going to be. Are you a star? Star. That's what they call you. Oh, you're doing a poo. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so um, me and Nathan are going to do scratch cards. I got one each and I've got one for my mum as well. She's doing hers downstairs and she said if she wins, she will let me know. Um, these are new ones. They well, new to me. I've never seen yellow, have you? Yellow special edition. Special edition. If you win, blue symbols, pay double. Ooh, okay. That's... So, top or bottom, what's you fancy? And don't say bottom. you decide. Oh, okay. You decided. Bottom. You want the bottom? I'm feeling that one's the lucky one. Do you want to? I don't want to break it. There we go. So, that one's mine. Yes. And that one's yours. So you I'm... got a penny, yeah? Yep, I've got a penny. <laughs> so, I'll start with a bonus game. Good luck. Thank you. I have to find number 10. Okay. I've got 12. Oh. Uh, uh, this okay. one, I've, I've got to find the crossed fingers. Yeah. Blue or black. And it's a bag. Oh. Okay. Uh, down here, I've got to find a diamond. Either yeah. blue or black. And we've got a nugget. Diamonds are a gold. A gold. A ring. A wallet. Uh, a wad. And a necklace. Oh. No there. Okay. And this one I've got to match three what they can call numbers. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Scratch it, scratch it, scratch it. Get scratching, boy. And scratch I've it. won absolutely yeah. zilch. It's weird seeing them in anyway. blue, look. Yeah. I wonder why it's... Because if you match three blues, it's double. Uh, okay, well, I've, <laughs> I've got to do mine. Yes. I don't know how I'm going to... Well, you take that. Oh, do you mind? Oh. Okay. Right, That's it. Yeah, I can see. So what's this one? This is bonus. You got to find number ten. Ten. You got mm. the right, right <laughs> numbers. Yeah, the wrong way around. Wrong way around. This is cross finger. That's not a cross finger. What is that? That's a I'm roll. My glasses. They're there. A roll of I'm money. Oh, uh, well, I'd like that. But... Yeah, but you didn't get that, I'm afraid. You're looking for that diamond. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. You've got a win. Oh, but it's oh. not a double, but it's still a win. I'm not going to scratch it yet. No, but it's still a win. Is it that bottom one? Yeah. Or is it that one? The bottom one. What, this one? Yeah, it's the bottom okay. one. Well, so wait. you have got a win. You picked the wrong one there. I but... know. But what's yours is mine, what mine is yours. <laughs> let's all win. Well, let's hope you win 250,000 then. <laughs> yeah. What, oh, what's this? I don't this one, you've got to match three. Come on. Come on. Another 200, but nah. Okay, what do you right. reckon? What's £2. Pound. I reckon £2. Pound. I reckon £4. Pound. Okay, let's have a look. It's £4! Pound. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's good. I'll get my £4 pound back and I'll keep it in my purse. I'm not going to get any more scratch cards because I'll One probably um, lose again. Yeah. So I'll keep four quid. That'll go towards something. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. I have got... Is a milkshake, chocolate. I haven't. You have. <laughs> um, oh, there's all the bits of stuff. I will. And I'm also what I'm going to do now is read. Do you mind if I just sit and read I'm quietly? Bit of book. Do you mind? I don't mind. Is that the winning one? The rubbish one. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm literally just going to sit and read. This is my current book, the book of cold cases, Simone St James. I'm nearly done with it. You get uh, yeah, I'm on page 224, so if I go sideways, that's over halfway, yeah, I isn't think it? They see, when you update your good reason, oh, it's 60, 66. Yeah, 60, something 60% percent done. I want it done today. Get I will done. get it done. Get it so done. I'm, I'm going to sit and read that. The next book I'm going to read is either your one, the TBR game book that you chose. You haven't got long. Because I have to read the TBR game mystery book. Mm-hmm. In that month, like the month you choose it yeah, for. Otherwise, you don't do it again. I won't do it again. So, how many days have I got left to the end What's of the, the month? Today? I don't know. I think it's a 20. Second? I don't know. If it's a 22nd, you've got about nine days. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to get that one. So, it's either that one or one of my library books because I don't need to get them done. Ooh, we can't <laughs> uh, yeah. don't know. So, I just read, I think it's because I've had thrillers lately. I really yeah. fancy, fancy a good fan. I can't talk. I, I fancy a good fantasy. Well, your one is a fantasy, but it's um, it's like about a circus and stuff. You like circuses. I do, but then when I read the back of it, it was about dreaming, and I don't like stories when they like the characters but you dream. Do like dreaming. Yeah, no, <laughs> I like dreaming in real life. I don't like reading about people's yeah. dreams. But I'll give it a go because yeah. it was the selected book. 
The other one is a fantasy with, I think, a queen's daughters yeah. choosing husbands. Am I boring you because you're starting to yawn? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm going to sit and read, drink milkshake. Then I'm going to do some filming, believe it or not. What are you going to film? I am going to film an ASMR video. Because I haven't got any ASMR backup Are you videos. Are doing scurrying towards the camera? No, no, I'm doing book tapping. Book tapping. Well, it's either a book tapping, just book tapping, or a bookshop role play. I don't know. Hmm. I think just, I don't know. I'm not sure. Tough. But, it, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. Just do both. <laughs> so I'm just going to film that. I've also got editing to do. Oh, my laptop's next door. That's all right. Yeah, I've got editing to do as well. So, yeah. But the first thing I'll do... It's just chill. Chill. With my book. Okay, so a uh, little reading update for you. I finished reading The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. I gave it four stars, which is quite good. There are other books that I've read, um, I have given five stars to. Um, I didn't enjoy this one as much as the others. Like, for example, Sunday Motel was just amazing. Um, but yeah, it was still really, really good. So the only thing I'd say, it lived up to its creepy, eerie vibe, which she does so well. Um, that paranormal twist is just brilliant. The characters were good. The writing style was good. But it's just not as much as a thriller as it was meant to be. Um, it's very predictable and uh, I don't know. It, it felt like there needed to be more twists. There wasn't really any shocks, any twists. And I kind of like that with thrillers. But it was still really good and I do recommend it. And if you haven't already read The Sunday Motel um, and The Broken Girls as well, they were better in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so that one is done. Um, next up... This is my next read, Castles in Their Bones by Laura Sebastian. What a lovely name, Laura. <laughs> um, born to rule, raised to deceive. So yeah, this is a um, YA fantasy and I got it from the library. I just really fancied like this kind of story. Um, I've got so many books I need to get through, including Nathan's um, book that he chose for my TBR game. But I just... I don't know, ever since I heard about this book and saw it, I was like, I really want it. I just want to read it. So I am. So yeah, this is going to be my next read. I've literally just started it. Uh, there's a beautiful, where is it, map of uh, Vesteria, where it all takes place. I love maps in books. I'm proper, like, nerd, geek, bookworm. Um, I just really like seeing maps. And also there's, like, little like family trees here, the royal families. So that's pretty cool. I like I like stuff like this. It just makes it feel more real, you know. I don't know. <laughs> so all I've read so far is this page and this page, and I'm already I'm already loving it. I love the uh, the sisters. I just know they're going to be so devious, and that's what it's all about. It's about these um, princesses who, on the outside, seem really sweet and lovely and demure, and then really their mother has been training them for absolutely years to uh, well since they were ch children, um, to be devious and naughty and um, quite violent as well. And the plan is that they, when they turn 16, they get married to different princes, I think they've already been chosen from. And then they basically, they go there with this, oh, we're really lovely, but really they want to just try and kill all the princes so they can take over and then the mother will take over everything. <laughs> so that's what it's about, basically. Um, but then obviously I think the sisters, maybe they're not as bad as they're meant to be. Um, or maybe they'll end up falling in love with one of the princes. I don't know. But it's obviously got to have a twist. Um, originally, I did think this was a standalone. But then I found out it was a series. Um, and normally when that happens, if I find out if it's a series, I'm like, oh, no, do you know what? I'm not going to read it. I've already got a series that I haven't read yet. But this one just sounds so good. I just, I'm just going to go with it. And uh, I've looked up on Goodreads. The next book doesn't come out till next year. So that's a bit sad. But if it's good, it's good. And when it comes out, I'll, you know. If I enjoy this one, I'll carry on the series. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm now going to do some editing. Uh, well, I'm in the middle of doing some editing. This is my weekend vlog, um, which is, oh, 52 minutes. Oopsie. I try and make them shorter, but sometimes, especially with the weekend ones, they kind of go on longer because I've got two days worth of bits and pieces to, you know, film and edit and stuff. Um, 
but yeah, I think like the daily vlogs, I really want to get down like less time, like half an hour, 40 minutes is all right, but weekend vlogs, I don't mind being a bit longer. Um, so yeah, this is saving, it's nearly there, it's got about that much to go, and then I'll upload that onto YouTube, if it doesn't take, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> coughing in your ear there, if it doesn't take too long, I'll put it on tonight, but if it takes ages, I'll just, I'll put it on tomorrow, but leave it go on tonight or tomorrow, so yeah okay right oh oh i'm yawning sorry i'll see you in a bit so the good news is i've just managed to film a very quick asmr video it's nothing like amazing spectacular then again are my videos ever no <laughs> but i just wanted i just wanted to do a video because i've literally had no backups for that channel um haven't uploaded on there in a few days so i just wanted something to kind of put out there a bit of content and you know, they don't get loads and loads of views, but people do enjoy the ASMR book uh, related videos, especially like tapping on the books and people like the um, scratching size of the pages and stuff. Um, so, yeah, if you're not subscribed to my ASMR channel, by the way, check it out. Minx Laura 123 ASMR. Um, it's kind of made my throat worse because I was, you know, trying to whisper in it. I was like, oh, no. Um I tried to keep my, you know, talking down to a minimum because obviously I was whispering, but, um, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, so that is filmed. I use these books here uh, to tap on and scratch. So we've got The Monarchs, we've got A Book of Cold Cases, American Dirt, which everyone recommends to me. I need to read it this year at some point because it's supposed to be so good. Coldest Touch, obviously my current read, Castles in Their Bones, Like a Charm, and the cost of knowing. This is by Brittany Morris, who did um, a book called Slay, which I absolutely love. So I've got high hopes for that one because I loved her writing style. So yeah, I'm just gonna tidy these books up now. I'll keep this one separate though because I'm gonna read it. Um, I think I'm gonna take a couple of painkillers because I do still feel a little groggy. Um, and then what's the time? Oh, it's twenty to eight, so I assume my mum will be coming up, coming up to bed soon so we'll go downstairs and I think it's oh yeah we've got dinner um because I'm really hungry and we're gonna watch our hold on let me turn the camera around there you go excuse my hair for looking like a complete mess um yeah we've got a show to watch we were gonna watch last night um but we didn't we're gonna watch it tonight instead it's all about top of the pops basically there's like an episode every week that uh, focuses on a different year tonight we're up to uh, 92, 1992, so it'd be quite cool. It's a great way of like looking back at your memories, like your musical memories and different artists and stuff. Like last week they had, um, who do they have? I'm trying to remember now. Chesney Hawks, I think, was on it. Um, the Shaman. <laughs> I saw them in concert. Oh, yeah. Um, who else? I can't remember. But this, yeah, this week is 1992, so I'm excited for that. It's, it's just nice, as I say, to look back at old songs that you used to really like and they have like interviews with some of the acts and stuff so that's pretty cool and um, top of the pops is like iconic here in the uk um i don't even know if it's on anymore but it used it used to be iconic should i say um i really don't know if they they st i don't think they have it on anymore maybe they just do it at christmas like a christmas day special or something they might not even do that i don't know but it used to be like just everyone watched it like you just you just did you just did um I remember it was on on a Thursday night, about seven o'clock, just before EastEnders used to come on. Because uh, back in the day, I did used to like EastEnders. I don't now. I can't stand the soaps really at all. But I did used to watch EastEnders. So I'd have um, seven o'clock, Top of the Pops, then EastEnders. But yeah, Top of the Pops would just be like lots of different acts coming on to perform their songs. Um, most of them were miming, which looking back at it now, it's just ridiculous. How did we not know they were miming? Like their instruments weren't even like plugged in the microphones weren't on you know you know what I mean like it's just so obvious and now but at the time you really thought they were singing but they were miming most of them I think the odd few sung live but not really um, but um yeah you just like and, and you'd get the countdown you'd get different acts performing and then you get the top 10 then the number one and it was just I don't know it's like just part of your life it was a big thing whatever type of music you like really um there was always some bands and singers that you didn't particularly like the songs, but others you were just like, oh, my God. I used to get mega excited whenever Take That appeared because I was a huge Take That fan. Um, well, to be fair, any of the boy bands would appear, I'd be quite excited. But mainly Take That. Um, I was like at high school when Take That were at their, 
their fame, you know, their, their highest fame. And I just, I was obsessed with Take That. So whenever they would appear on top of the pops, I was like, I would not talk. I would just be like glued to the TV, <laughs> watching them all doing their backflips. And I mean, really thinking about it, it's pretty obvious they weren't actually singing because they were doing backflips. You can't sing and do a backflip and sound fine. Well, maybe you can. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, it's just nice. So we're going to watch that show tonight. We've got it on Sky Planner. We've recorded it. Um, and yeah, have a bit of dinner and just chill, really. I want to do more reading, get into that book a bit more. I've only read like a page or two, so I want to do a bit more and see if I get a good vibe on it. I have so far. I think it's going to be quite a cool fantasy. I need a fantasy. A lot of books I've read lately have been like thrillers and stuff, and I just, I just really fancy that kind of, you know, the princesses and the different you know, places they're going to go and the magic and, you know, the nasty mum. I just think it sounds really cool. Anyway, so I'm going to say goodbye for now, but I'll see you in a bit. I am just preparing the dinner. And yes, I'm sorry, it's the same thing you always see in the... Actually, no, you don't always see in these vlogs because the other night on my weekend vlog, I had a garlic bread pizza thing for dinner. So, haha. -ha. Uh, mostly you see these. Oh, like 90%. <laughs> 90%. Um, for those of you that knew here, it is the Greg's Vegan Steak Bakes. They are succulent. They are amazing. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. Um, and they're from Iceland. Exclusive to Iceland, in fact. Also, a jacket potato. So that is my dinner. Um, so I need, I need the oven on. There you go. It's warming up. Some tin foil. Put that down properly. Press it in. Just take these out. Oh my hair, what is it doing? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Um, okay, here they are in their glory. Mmm. So I'm gonna put those in. One there, one there. In you go into the oven and they'll be in for about 25 minutes. And then I've got to wash the potato and prick it. Take out all my anger on the potato now as I prick it. <laughs> um trying to think who don't I like? <laughs> so many people. So many people. Um ooh, ooh. The strength of a bear. Oh. I'm going to shove this in the microwave. Sorry, that's a horrible way of saying it. I'm going to put this... I oh, just sp <laughs> splash myself. Put this in microwave. Um, this kind of size, I reckon, would be about, I don't know, eight minutes? I'll try eight minutes. I can always go longer. Um, yeah, let's do that. In you go, potato. And we're on. Also, whilst that is happening, um, Nathan has very kindly helped me by putting um, the Star Drops white vinegar into the steamer. Uh, oh, vinegar stinks of vinegar, obviously, because as you can see, here is all the dirty kind of. Oh, it's because our, our area is it's quite a hard water area and this kind of thing happens. Um, but what you do, you put this and then some water as well, and it literally, like by tomorrow, this will all be gone. So um, we leave it overnight, like soaking it all out, then we rinse it out, then we put some water in it and just steam it with just water, and then it's all gone. So a little tip for you there, if you have a steamer on how to clean it, well, that's what we do anyway, there might be other clips. Uh, clips? Other tips, not clips. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting tired. There are other tips that may help, but oh, there's a moth. Ah, where are you, moth? Ah, ah. Right, so I'm just gonna put this in the bin. We're gonna go and watch. Um, I just dropped it on the floor. We're gonna go and watch the Top of the Pop show now. This box will be going in the recycle bin. Um, so yeah, we're gonna watch Top of the Pop's show. Uh, so I'll see you in a bit. There we go, all ready, all ready to watch. It's very psychedelic, which is weird because it's about the 90s and not the 70s. But anyway, let's do it. 
Okay, so that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Don't forget to check out MinxLaura123 ASMR, my other channel as well. Um, I am just going to finish off the evening with reading time. Reading time. Um, just, yeah, kind of getting into this Castles in Their Bones by Laura Sebastian. Um, so, yeah, nice dinner. It was very, very nice. And I was watching some YouTube videos whilst I eat. I was watching um, Worm's Eye View, the lovely Pippa. Um, looks like she's on the mend now because she's uh, had COVID as well. So it looks like she's on the mend, which is good. Um, and yeah, just going to, as I say, read, relax. The time is now half past nine. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye, 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 bye.